Good morning, Sunder. Hope you were able to get some rest. <laughs> yes, I told you I would show you to your cage. What? <laughs> Did you expect a actual cage? <laughs> Who do you think I am? I treat my guests like family. Especially the ones that are this adorable. <laughs> oh, and that blush. Even better. All right. Lift up your shirt. What? Do you become deaf too when you're flustered? <laughs> Oh, what a naughty little bird we have here. <laughs> I just wanted to check on your wounds, so that they're not getting infected. But I wouldn't mind taking a closer look. Maybe I should do a thorough medical evaluation of your whole body. Later. <laughs> I usually treat people to dinner before we do that. So, <clears throat> you're going to go see my doctor. He arrived 15 minutes ago, so I don't want to keep him for too long. After that, you will join me for breakfast. Or, <clears throat> more like brunch at this point. <laughs> Maybe I should start calling you a sleeping beauty instead of a songbird. <laughs> you would like that, wouldn't you? Hmm. Now, get up. No, I am not in a particular hurry. But you... Uh, if my math adds up... You have about 10 hours left to make yourself useful. Might want to start working on that. You're a smart boy. I know you can do it. <laughs> I'll see you at lunch. For a while, but there's a reason for that. It doesn't matter are we allies or not, he's way too nosy. The fact that he's even requesting a meeting already raises my suspicions that somebody has leaked information out on our situation. But, uh, I would be lying if I said that I didn't want to know what's happening at the front line of things. <sighs> Set up a meeting here at my house. Because if they know that we have him, I am not leaving the house. Who knows what kind of ridiculous stunt they might try to pull to obtain them. I do trust you, but you know how possessive I am of my property. Next week, my house. Otherwise, he can wait for another six months. Thank you. I will talk to you later. Ah, songbird. Just in time. The food has been served, so please, do dig in. I don't know when's the last time you ate, so I would still assume you're hungry. Please, help yourself to it. So, how was the meeting with the doctor? 
show me the note. Hmm. Just regular painkillers and antibiotics. We have the painkillers, but I'm going to have to tell someone to go pick up the antibiotics just in case. <laughs> because if something is going to take you out of this world, I'm not going to let some infection take that fun from me. <laughs> like I said, as long as you're useful, I will treat you well. That includes taking care of any medical needs. I am not a barbarian. No, no, darling. A barbarian would have just left you bleeding on the basement floor with infected wounds and no food or water. Most likely forgets you even existed by the next day. And all you can do is cry and hope for a miracle as you're left alone in the dark. Wishing that they would catch another person to torture so they would find you. At least to finally offer that sweet, sweet release of death you have been screaming for days. <laughs> now eat before the food gets cold. I'm going to take care of a couple of things while you do. Aren't I going to eat? I will. I just prefer having the necessary work done first. I want to take my time and enjoy the food and not swallow everything whole because I know I have something that needs to be taken care of. Hmm? Why am I after your father? You really are as innocent as I thought. <sighs> as you know, your father is one of the biggest and most influential business owners in the country. He also owns a lot of land and buildings all around the city. Some of them being vital when it comes to territory. What do I mean? There are four main organized crime families in this city. The Onyx, which is led by me, the Crescent Brotherhood, the Dracovich family, and the Yokai Syndicate. As much as you would like to believe everything your father has built and gained was through honest hard work, I'm sorry to tell you, little prince, that that's not the case. Your father owns five main pieces of land in this city, which mark where the territory splits between different groups. Those are called neutral zones. There is a zero tolerance for any activity in these areas, which makes them peaceful and safe for everyone. It has been like that as long as I can remember. But now one of those properties have been sold by your father. We tried contacting him to ask for his reasoning and to who he actually sold it to. But he has refused to talk to any of us, which made me worried. After multiple peaceful attempts, I resorted to getting the information from somewhere else. And here we are. A lovely little story time while you eat your lunch. <laughs> you want to know more? <laughs> uh, haven't you heard the saying? That curiosity killed the cat. But I guess you're a bird and not a cat. <laughs> Alright. Let's say every day you manage to... Mm, 
survive, you get to ask me one question, and I will answer it to the best of my abilities, since even I am not all knowing. But on the topic, I would like to know.、Uh, Excuse me for a second. Kerro. Onks kaikki valmiina sitä varten? Ja tällä kertaa saitte sen tää oikein henkilön. Siun oman hyvinvoinnin vuoksi. Ainakin toivon niin. Lähetä joku ylös vahdiks. Tun sinne parissa minuutissa. Unfortunately, our little lunch date needs to be cut short. Work is calling my name. One of my men will be up with you shortly. They will be your guide, let's say. Anything you need, just ask them. I will find you after I'm done. Try doing that next to our territory. This is not a place where your boss will cover your ass. No. I even told him that I have you over here. You know what he said? He said, "Do." Your worst, <laughs> and oh, how I love those words. We are going to have so much fun. You are no international spy, Songbird. You are pretty much as quiet as a newborn baby. Come. Join me and my guest here. There he is. <laughs> Tell me, my friend, isn't he gorgeous? They are a living proof that you can actually walk out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> That actually gives me an idea, darling. Since you disobeyed and wandered by yourself, you need a punishment. Ah 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 ah! You know what you did, and because of that, I'm taking. Seven hours off of your timer. So, songbird, could you be a doll and tell me how much time you have left to be useful to me? Oh my! <laughs> Less than an hour. Oh, isn't that unfortunate? I really hope you come up with an idea how to be useful to me. Oh, you can't. Oh no! Whatever shall we do now? <laughs> well. Since I am such a 
generous person. I have a idea. Why won't you join our little game here? I will count that as you being useful to me if you do. <laughs> Good boy. The rules are very simple. You're going to sit here and please place your hand through that hole in the board. And now you see these lines of thread. You and this gentleman over there are going to be taking turns cutting those threads one by one until one of you cuts a thread that is holding up the blade above your hand and snap <laughs> the one who doesn't lose a hand wins simple right <laughs> One little thing. You can buy a chance to skip your turn. Oh, you don't have any money. <laughs> you don't need money for this. You can offer anything. And I mean anything. Favors information people <laughs> I think the rules are clear for both of you <laughs> well then shall we begin <laughs> <laughs> 